आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ If we talk about this question, in this question we are asked to draw a neat label diagram and to describe the parts of a typical angiosperm ovule, right? So basically, if we talk about the various parts of an angiosperm ovule, so that we can see on our uh, on our screen, right, the label diagram of an angiosperm ovule. So we'll discuss the all the parts one by one. right so the very first part that we have here is the hilum right so hilum is basically that point right where the ovule is attached to the funicle right it is that part where the ovule right where the ovule is attached right where the ovule is attached to the funicle right funicle right so it's a it serve as a part where for the attachment for of the ovule to the funicle now what the funicle is so if we discuss about the funicle so funicle is that part or we can say it looks like a stalk like structure it is more or less like a stalk like structure right it's a it is more or less uh, stalk like structure right it serve as a point of attachment right it serve as a point of attachment for the ovule for the ovule to the placenta right so basically placenta of the ovary and the ovule are uh, uh, attached at a point known as a funicle right then we have the very next part that is micropyle so micropyle is basically it's a pole it's a narrow pole right it's a narrow a uh, pole or we can say a projection right it's a it's a sort of a projection right that a, a projection of the integuments right we have the integuments here so we'll first understand what are the integuments we have two mean two types of integuments so integuments are basically the outer layers right we have two types of integuments outer and inner so these are the two outer layers right that surrounds the ovule right so as to serve the protection to the developing embryo right it pro these layers provide protection to the developing embryo right so the projection of these layer is be one of the projection of these layer is known as the micropyle right so it is the point where the uh, pollen tube enters the ovule right mike so basically pollen tube enters right so basically pollen tube enters ovule for the fertilization through through the micropyle right through the micro pile now moving ahead so the and then we have the micro micropylar pole so the pole to a, at the micropylar end right at the micropylar end is known as the micropylar pole now we have the next part that is the nucellus so if we discuss about the nucellus it is a mass right it is a mass of the parenchyma tissue right so nucellus is basically to surround uh, it is so the integuments right integuments surrounds it right integuments surrounds uh, the nucellus and it is made up of parenchyma tissue right made up of parenchyma uh, tissue also uh, it provides nutrition to the developing embryo so if we discuss the uh, function of the nucellus right so the function of nucellus is basically 
uh, new cellus uh, is to uh, if we talk about the function of the new cellus right so it it provides nutrition right it gives nutrition to the developing embryo right also uh, the embryo sac is lo located inside the nucleus right so now if we talk about the embryo sac so as we can see here that the embryo sac is located right or is placed in the new cellus right so that when the embryo comes up in the embryo sac it can so the embryo can get the nutrition from the new cellus or the new cellus can provide nutrition to the developing embryo now if we talk about the chalazal pole so it is the pole right that is present at the uh, you know uh, basal at the basal swollen part right chalaza is the basin swallow a uh, swollen part of the nucellus right of the nucellus right where the uh, from where the integuments originate so integument integuments start from the or uh, in uh, initiates or originates from the chalazal pole so we are here we can say that there are two opposite poles right one is the micropylar pole and the other is the chalazal pole right and this is the complete description of the angiospermic ovule right yes class 6 to 12 se leke need iit je means or advanced ke level tak 10 मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर